Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the HVAC blower motor resistor in your Chevy Trailblazer. So let's go ahead and get started. To complete this video, these are the items that you'll need. You're gonna need a ratchet, and if you wanna use a like a screwdriver handled um, socket thing, you can, they come in handy, I like them, but it's not really needed, mainly just the ratchet. But you're gonna need either a seven millimeter or a nine thirty-second inch uh, socket. You're also going to need a 7 30 seconds uh, inch socket as well. A pair of needle nose pliers helps because we do have to uh, remove a little clip that holds a harness in place, so that's recommended. And then, of course, you need your replacement um, HVAC uh, blower resistor. You can pick those up at Advance Auto, AutoZone, online, different places. I got mine at Advance Auto. I'll put the information along the bottom of the screen here as far as the price, but you can pretty much find them anywhere. So let's go ahead and get this done. Now, when these little Blower motor resistors start to fail. You'll notice as you're shifting through your different settings on your HVAC unit on your um, in your car. Maybe if you're going from the the blower motor, like cycling through numbers one through five, it may work on one or none of the settings. The particular vehicle that I'm working on, it only works when it's on number five. Now prior to this, it was only working on number four, and then it glitched out. Then it didn't work at all. Then it started working again on number five, and those are pretty clear indications that that resistor needs to be replaced, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, nothing on four, and then on five it's coming out full blast. Now the AC does work because all the other settings, the mode controller switch, all those other things are all working. So it's this right here that's not kicking in. And sometimes it'll just not work at all. And then all of a sudden you'll be driving and it'll just start blowing in your face at full speed. So let's go ahead and get this part swapped out and then we'll be back to see how all the settings work properly. If we come across here to our glove box, let's go ahead and open that up. And you'll see right here, there's a little hook that keeps this from falling, we need to move that out of the way so that way we can take this glove box, lower it so we can get behind it. So to do that, all you're gonna do, this thing here can move. So you can move that out of the way. So if we go ahead and raise it, then this now can be lowered. We can move that out of the way. So we have access in here now the HVAC blower resistor is located back up in here, so we're gonna to need to come from underneath. So the first thing we need to do is remove this, this door in general, which is held on here by these three seven millimeter or nine thirty seconds, whatever you wanna use, the both sockets will work, but we need to remove these three screws so we can drop this door. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll be back to lower the panel underneath so we can get up in there. Now with the glove box out of the way, we can set that here off to the side. We now have access to this lower panel. There's two more, either nine thirty seconds or seven millimeter screws holding it on on the ends. I'll show you a close up of that, but once we remove those, then the lower panel can come out and then we can see where the blower resistor is and we can remove that. But here, take a look and I'll show you what we're gonna be removing next. Here's where the glove box door was. This is the lower panel. You have one screw right here, and then on this side, you have the other one right here. So let's go ahead and get our socket and ratchet, pop those off, and then we'll be able to head underneath.
Now that we've removed the two screws, we can just grab this, pull it down gently. Now you do have a harness that's connected here. So if we come underneath here, right there, you can see where it's coming through. Clear that up. You just take a pair of needle nose pliers just to kind of squeeze that through. And then we'll push it through on the other side so we can pull it out. We pushed it through. So now as we pull this down, comes right out and we can remove this full panel and get that out of the way. With the panel out of the way, I'm going to come underneath here and you're going to slip right up under there and there's your blower motor resistor located right here. And this blower motor resistor is held on by two 732nd inch screws right there on each side and you can see the black and red wire if we follow that around it kind of wraps here so i'm going to come up on this side and we'll meet it up here but you can see it there wrapping around and then that's where it plugs in right there the connection so we're going to go ahead and unplug it there remove those two screws drop that down and then we can put the new one in now to remove this little connection here you have one of those little red locks right here. They're easy to slide out. You can even pull it up just with your hand. If not, you can put a flathead screwdriver, pull that out. However, as this goes in here, there's a little clip underneath, and I'll show you. So if you have a screwdriver or a pair of needle nose pliers, you can just pop it up. I can almost even get it with my hand, but you're going to have to push that up while pulling it in order to get it out. But let's head underneath, and I'll show you. There's the bottom of it. <clears throat> And you can see that little clip right there. If I can show you right here, you can see that little black knob. That's what's locking right on that, that edge right there. So that's what we're going to have to push up to slide that out. I'm going to take these needle nose pliers. We're going to push that little tab up. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to give it a good pull. And there we are. Now with the harness disconnected, we're ready to remove those two 732nd inch screws. And I would recommend using the either the screwdriver handle because you have some length to it. The ratchet can get up there. It could be a little bit tight. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Remove this. And now we have this one over here. And we're just going to work this down gently. Here it comes. Pull it out. Now there is a harness plug here connected to the back so let's pull this down and then we'll disconnect that another thing to keep in mind there's a little rubber band that holds this harness in place you're gonna have to pull that through where we disconnected that so here we go otherwise you're gonna have some issues there so we'll just pull that right around it And let me get a close up here. You have a little clip here on this harness. Just pull that clip up. And let me actually get both hands on this. Pull that tab up on that side and just gently work that off. And that's it there. This thing looks pretty rough. You can see there real bad. So let's swap it out. Here's the HVAC blower motor resistor that came out of the vehicle. And you can see right here, this thing is 
really, really, really corroded. But you'll notice here the date. This is 2003, which is the year of the vehicle. So this is the original one. But this is in very bad shape. No wonder why it failed, all corroded and dirty. So let's go ahead and open this box. Let's see what's in here. We'll pull the new one out and do a little comparison. So let's slide this out. And that looks a lot better. You can see now it's not all exposed as this old one was. A lot nicer, cleaner. Let's go ahead and pop that in and test this thing out. I'm going to go ahead and slip underneath. We're going to slide this in. We're going to put it in the same way that we re removed the other one. So we're going to start off by connecting the harness to the back of the blower motor resistor itself. Then we're going to go ahead and screw it in with the two 732nd inch screws into um, up into uh, under the dash. And then we'll end it off by wrapping this harness around, strapping it back in, plugging it in. And then we'll go ahead and test it before we put everything back. And if everything checks out fine, which I'm pretty sure it will, then we'll go ahead and put the glove box back in and put the panel underneath, get all that screwed back in, and then wrap it up. So let's head underneath and get this in. Up here is where the HVAC blower motor resistor goes. There's where your two screws go in. So we're going to go ahead and slide that in. It does have like a foam gasket that'll press up against it and seal that. I'm going to go ahead and put it in, then we're going to screw it in place, and then we'll be back. Pull the harness. You can see it has a little groove here for that track on the side of the har harness right there you can see where it bumps out and then you have the clip which clips right there we'll slide that in locked in place Everything's been connected underneath the dash. As I mentioned already, we didn't put anything back yet. We want to make sure that works. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go cycle through, make sure that the, the blower motor resistor is working properly. The AC is working properly with all of the different speed settings. And then if everything checks out, we'll put it all back together and wrap it up. So let's go ahead. We're going to cycle through and see how it works. Now that everything checked out, let's head underneath. I'm just going to go through and just put it in fast motion, but I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together. We're pretty much going to follow the same process that we did when we removed it, and then we'll be back to conclude this video.
Now that we're ready to slide the glove box up, just want to show you here from underneath. This is that little hook that holds it from falling forward. You can see it's spring mounted there, so you can pull it. So I'm going to go ahead, we're going to pull this up, slide that back a little bit, and then release it once we get it in place, and that'll hold it in. Raise that up right here. And now it's holding it in place. Put this in. We're done. Okay, well this pretty much wraps up this video on how to replace the HVAC blower motor resistor on a Chevy Trailblazer. I hope this video helped you out with any projects you're working on. I hope it was informative for you. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.